So what you just saw was me running Diablo 4 on a MacBook Pro M2 Max 16 inch. Uh, it's a maxed out CPU with an upgraded GPU, 32 gigabytes of memory. If you didn't know, Blizzard never made a Mac version of Diablo 4. So this is running using a combination of different tools and software Apple just made available after their WWDC event this month. I'm going to talk about how to get Diablo 4 working on a Mac in this video, but the credits really goes to the uh, Mac gaming subreddit and uh, the person called Out Coldman who made an awesome guide that you can follow yourself and uh, the link will be under the video. So there are some prerequisites to get this working. At currently I'm using the developer preview of the latest macOS 14.0. In addition to that we need to have Xcode 15 uh, beta installed and we also need to install command line tools for Xcode uh, beta. So links to everything you need is in the description below. So when the command line tools for Xcode 15 beta are installed, we need to install Rosetta 2. So Rosetta 2 will allow you to run Intel based applications on Apple uh, CPUs. And uh, most games for Windows obviously are built for Intel. And uh, that's why you need to install Rosetta 2. Now we need to install something called Game Porting Toolkit Beta and you can download it from the Developer Apple website. Again, the link to the instructions are in the description below. We just have to open the DMG file and it will mount a volume in volumes Game Porting Toolkit 1.0. Then we need to open up the terminal and run a command to switch to Intel architecture in the terminal. And that will run all of the following commands under Rosetta 2 using uh, Intel architecture. Now we need to install Homebrew for the Intel architecture. So this is an unofficial package manager. Uh, developers use that to install tools for development and things like that. It's uh, respected in the community and has a lot of packages available. And uh, I'm using the command here on the website I had in the link below. Just following the instru instructions. Then I have to install something called Game Porting Toolkit. And uh, this install took about actually 35 minutes on my MacBook Pro. So I suggest you go grab a drink or something and do something else while this is installing. And when we get back, we can uh, continue. So while we are still in the terminal window, we are making a uh, games directory in uh, the home directory. And then we are making a... Uh, Battle.net directory for all of the uh, Battle.net uh, games we are going to install. In this case it's going to be Diablo 4. Then we are preparing the folder for Diablo 4 and a uh, configuration window should appear on the screen. There we change the versions uh, of Windows to Windows 10. Press apply and OK to exit the uh, window. And then we install the game porting toolkit library directory into Wine's library directory. And then we copy all the required executables to user local bin so you can access them later without attaching the, uh, the game porting toolkit uh, volume we just opened uh, earlier here. Then we need to update uh, the uh, Windows version in Wine Registry to match the expected build by a Battle.net uh, application. And now we are going to install Battle.net and Diablo 4 for Windows. So we have to go to the Battle.net website and downloads, download the Windows version of Battle.net. And we are checking if we have the Battle.net setup exe there. And then we type this command to install Battle.net for Windows. 
So the Battle.net app window should appear on the screen. We log in with our blistered account and we install Diablo 4. I opted for installing the full version. And after uh, the installation here, we can launch the game and see if it works. So I'm playing on a 1440p display. I use the ultra quality preset. A, uh, and then I reduced the uh, shadow quality and I also later went to uh, Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 and uh, I think I selected the performance don't remember but you can try to play around with that I have a 144 Hertz screen that is also working in Mac OS it, it detects the uh, refresh rate but in max foreground FPS, I set it to 75, and it seems like uh, the fans didn't ramp up on the Mac, they stayed quiet, while the gameplay was uh, more than acceptable in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to play around a little bit more with it to see if I can get a uh, good balance between FPS and uh, fan noise. But I could see that I could get over perhaps 80 FPS and sometimes 90, 100 FPS actually when uh, there wasn't that much going on. But uh, anyway, this game is obviously playable on uh, on this Mac. And uh, remember that this is uh, playing in a uh, translation layer. So if uh, Blizzard is going to... Uh, really port this game the performance is going to be uh, awesome uh, in my opinion so on the out cold man website there is a uh, trick where you can make a uh, shortcut to launch diablo 4 so you don't have to go into the terminal and type that uh, string all the time it's basically your startup automator automator is an application that is included in mac os by default you tell it that you're going to create a new application and uh, in the library there you will find something called run shell script and then you go to the out coldman website and you copy the shell script into there and then you save this automator applications to your applications folder call it for example diablo 4 and then you can also go to the diablo 4 official website then you can download the, the uh, icon image and you can change the image on the app or the icon on the app and then you can put it on your uh, dock and you have a nice shortcut to play Diablo 4 on your Mac.